basketball player is spinning a basketball on his finger. We know that he starts off with the basketball at rest and he spins it up to an angular velocity of 18 radians per second. He does this in 2.1 seconds and we have the mass of the ball and the radius of the ball. And what we're supposed to find is the net torque he exerts on the ball in order to accelerate it up to that speed. So we know that the sum of all torques is equal to moment of inertia times angular acceleration. So we want to figure out the torque, we need to know the moment of inertia and the angular acceleration. So first off we're going to calculate the moment of inertia. The moment of inertia for a basketball, this is a spherical shell. All the weight of a basketball is at the outside. So a spherical shell, if we look at our formula sheet, the moment of inertia is two-thirds m r squared. So the mass we use is the mass of the basketball. Two-thirds mass of the basketball is 0.62 times the radius, which is 0.24 squared. So the moment of inertia, if we plug that in, turns out to be 0 0.023808 kilogram meter squared. So now we have to figure out the angular acceleration. We're given the initial and the final angular velocities and the time it takes to get there. So we just have to use the kinematic equation omega final equals omega initial plus alpha times time. So we plug in omega final in, 18 equals omega naught is 0 plus alpha times a time of 2.1 seconds. And we just divide 2.1 over, alpha equals 18 over 2.1. Alpha turns out to be 8.5 that per second squared. Now we have alpha, we have I. Plug into the sum of our torques. There's one torque acting. Torque equals I alpha equals an I of 0 0.023808 0 0.0238 and alpha 8.57 multiply those two numbers together, making sure we keep enough, enough numbers for significant digits, and we get 0.204 newton meters.